Hey, so we're here at Tunchin, which is a Chinese market in Gainesville, Florida, and we are going to go get some moon festival or mid-autumn festival things to barbecue for tomorrow. So let's go in. So right when you get in the store, you're greeted with pomelos, of course, for moon festival. This store has spices and sauces and everything for all different kinds of Asian cuisines. Um, so you can get everything from, you know, the Taiwanese cheese stuff to the um, sweet and sour Thai sauce. I needed some onions. 79 cents a pound is pretty good. Skipping over to the mushrooms. I got some mushrooms that would stick on a, a kebab stick pretty well, like the shiitake and those. Oh, God. Jeremy called them penis mushrooms. <laughs> I wanted to get some fish balls and I, uh, I kind of forgot to buy them. I just was looking at them. I like these Fujo fish balls, but they have a meat inside the middle. Jeremy's not eating meat. These are the, the meat ones, the beef ones I usually get, but again, we're not eating meat. I was going to get them. I think the cuttlefish ones and whoops, I kind of forgot. Now this is my absolute favorite section, the tofu section, all kinds of tofu. My favorite one here is the fried tofu. This kind of looked funky. I only bought one because I'm not really sure, but they've got dogan, different kinds. They've got the shredded white tofu, I think is the noodles. They've got soy puffs, a bigger dogan that, that was really good actually. I'm gonna have to get more of that one. I don't usually like the spiced ones, but this spiced one was pretty good. This rice cake, it's for that really spicy Korean rice cake. Oh, look, this lychee drink. I kind of am <laughs> going through a lot here. The Calpico. I didn't get the Calpico. I didn't think we needed it, but I got this oolong tea because you have to have the bottle of tea for barbecue night. And it's from Taiwan, so had to get it. I've gone through all my tapioca pearls and I needed to, to replenish the supply. So that's for me, not for tonight. I made it over to the seafood area. Didn't get any seafood, but this octopus was $25 and it was a lot of octopus meat. I don't know if I could have the heart to eat octopus right now. This is a vegan section, lots of faux meats. Um, they've got a couple different really interesting options that caught my eye. These uh, fish balls, these chicken legs, and a wuharo, which is like a pork belly, like so, but I mean, it's all fake. It's not real meat, soy proteins and whatever. Ice creams, I didn't bring a cooler, so I couldn't pick anything up. I don't like moon cakes, so I got these moji instead. They're round, like the moon. I figure they're appropriate. Okay, so I'm back. So I'm back in the car with the puppies. Hello, puppies. Puppies can't go in the shopping center. And um, got a whole bunch of stuff that I think um, I can use for the the cowro, the barbecue tomorrow, but also got some yummy stuff for me, like some tapioca balls, boba balls. I don't know what I got. I'll look at it later, what I got, but I got um, some yummy stuff. I'm going to go make a stop at one more grocery store to see if they have any of the cowro stuff, like the um, some tongs. Not sure what else we're going to need. <laughs> I haven't done this one myself in a really long time. I guess we're going to need some charcoal unless I just heat up some wood. I think we're just going to do wood and then let the fire sit for a while and then you'll have the heat. Then um, I've got, I've, you know, I've, I've got a base. I've got metal that I could use to put the meat on. I just, I think I need some tongs just for the fun of it. Let's see if one of the stores has tongs. Then um, I want to see if they have barbecue sauce as well. And oh, the I'm gonna go to the Korean one because they have Korean stuff, and I got some Korean, um, some Korean rice noodles that I can put Korean rice noodle sauce on. It's really spicy and yummy. He likes Korean stuff, so we'll do that. I forgot to say I love going to this store because everyone here is just so nice and so kind, and it just reminds me of shopping. I wanted to say back home. <laughs> back home is Taiwan, but it's you know. Um, there's more like if people are nice, people are, t they talk to each other, they say, excuse me, and they just don't run you over like they run you over at Walmart. Um, I don't know, people are just so nice. Um, yeah, let's go. Next door. I'm waiting in traffic, so I'm going to open this up. Oh, it smells like lychee. I can't wait to try it. Oh, so good. I mean, nothing takes the 
takes the, the place of actual lychee that's, you know, fresh from the tree, ripe perfectly, but sometimes you gotta just get what you can get. It has a metallic taste. Oh, it's not as good as real lychee, but it's good. So this is a lychee drink with aloe vera pulp. I think it's like an aloe vera base and then they put lychee in it. It's from Malaysia. Weichuan I thought was a Taiwanese company, but they probably make stuff all over now. It's probably gotten so big. It says it has real aloe vera pieces. Maybe what I'm trying is, or that's floating in my mouth, is actually aloe vera and not lychee. So maybe it's a lychee juice with aloe vera in it. All right, let's get back to driving. Okay, so we're here at the second store. This one is Ensign Market. It's also in Gainesville. It has Chinese writing on it. So let's go see what's in this. Daily reminder, your camera angles matter. <laughs> now I meant to go to another grocery store, Korean one in the same shopping center, but it had closed down. Instead, now there's this cleaner, nicer grocery store. I think they're trying to compete with the H Marts, but it's, a, it's still Chinese, definitely more Chinese than Korean. A lot of the same products as the other grocery store. However, I did see that their prices were a little bit higher than the other grocery stores. Same brands, I mean the same products basically. Uh, this store has bulk rice just like all the other ones. Um, I'm putting a pin in that for when hot pot time is here. I got some skewers. Hey, look, there's a brush and I didn't get it. I see it now. I needed the brush and you'll see why in tomorrow's video. Didn't get a brush. I did find these tongs and they're the cheap ones. Usually you get like throwaway tongs. It's so sad, but you get throwaway tongs. Here's a grill. Ends up I don't need a grill. Ends up I don't even need one of these barbecue thingies because I have everything I need including wood for charcoal, and we're just gonna have a little fire. I was walking around this section and found some little shampoos and things uh, before getting to the seafood area with the shrimp, conch, mussels, clams, uh, forget what those are, and those are other shell thingies. <laughs> There's also fish here. Um, the cashier told me that their meat prices are pretty good. I haven't bought fish in the market in a long time, um, but it looks pretty fresh. Now off to find the barbecue sauce. Cause that is like what I came to this store for. Um, I love those fermented, they call them Taiwan cheese. It's a fermented tofu that has like a cheesy flavor. Use it as a condiment. And while I'm looking, I found this barbecue sauce, which I really, really like and picked up this one. This is my favorite, the vegetable and fruit sauce. It's so savory, but sweet. Uh, this is a Korean one that goes with those rice cakes that I bought and we're going to put it together. It's also like bibimbap sauce, but it's, um, you can use it for the, the flavoring sauce for the rice cakes. Now I'm looking for barbecue. This is not the brand I know. And here's some really cool, like spicy chili paste that, um, I'm, I, I'm not focused and I was like, nope, it looks nice, but I don't need it. I need barbecue sauce. And lo and behold, there it is. That is the barbecue sauce that I came here to get. And actually, I should have bought this. You'll see I get really excited about the other one. Eventually, I'll get to it. This is like, this is the brand I'm used to. It's the packaging. This is actually the, the brand I'm used to with the packaging. The, the happy face. I found the one that I wanted. This is what I came in for. Uh, it's the Bullhead brand barbecue sauce. The thing is, this is the spicy one. And it even says mala right there. Mala means damn spicy. I got it. I really should have gotten the other one because the other one is not spicy. And it ends up, I mean, it was just too spicy. But whatever. The store is really big. has so many different items. Back in Taiwan, there was an Indonesian woman that was part of, part of the family. And she would cook these Indonesian foods. And she used one of these. I'm going to have to figure out which one she used when she made this amazing beef dish. Uh, also, lots of Japanese food, uh, hot pot flavorings. This I want to get later, not today. Peaches. I think those are peaches. Yeah, peaches, dragon fruit. 
another kind of dragon fruit, the yellow one, longan, and pomelos. Lots and lots of pomelos. These ones looked really like really nice. So while shopping, like I found these pomelos, but really that was the only special area for the moon festival that I could find. Well, I guess I didn't look close enough because I'm watching the video after filming and a lot of these treats and these boxes right here are for moon festival. This, these boxes are moon cakes. I'm not a big fan of the moon cake anyway, so uh, whatever. I like the moji better. The grocery store here has like a hot food section. You get donuts, like the little Japanese style donuts. I called them pearl necklace donuts. I really wasn't hungry, but I did see some items on this hot food bar that caught my eye, like those eggplants right there and the wuharo. I'm not eating pork, but oh my God, this is my favorite food. Wuharo, it is pork belly that is slow cooked so that the fat gelatinizes and it just melts in your mouth. There's also a station with poke bowl, hibachi, and sushi rolls. It looks good, but that Uwaro is like, oh man, I'm, I'm drooling right now. If you want your Pepsi from China, they have that as well. <gasps> ah, I look all crazy. All right, so got all the shopping done. I can't believe this. I cannot believe this. My lucky, lucky stars. I got the last one, the last one, the last one. The last one. That is how lucky we are. The last one. Yay! Got crazy hair to go with crazy eyes. Whoa! Crazy eyes. All right, so we got all the shopping done. Now we need to, Rebecca, what do we need to do? Come here, Rebecca. What do we need to do, Rebecca? What do we need to do? We need to go home and find some wood for tomorrow so we can have a fire. We're gonna have a fire? Are you gonna eat the food too? You are so interested in those ducks over there, aren't you? Where are we going? Are we going over there? Yeah. You're a good puppy. And you smell pretty too. Because you had a bath. So this moon festival is special because it coincides with an actual full moon. So the night before moon festival, at least in America, we had a basically a full moon and it was just gorgeous. Look at that. It was kind of covered by these clouds, but the brightness of the moon just shined through. Look at that. That is so beautiful. So check out video part two, where I talk about our actual barbecuing funness. All right. Thanks for watching and see you in the next adventure.